Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today is the day. This is a long-awaited tutorial that um, is just now kind of finally coming around on our schedule. And that is how to download and install Fabric Mods. This specific video is going to be for 1.16.3, but this process has been the same for a while and I don't expect it to be changing anytime soon. So kind of no matter what version you're looking at, this is going to be how to install Fabric Mods for that particular version. I'll probably do some version updates in the future, but this specific version is for 1.16.3 and it should work for the previous versions of Fabric as well. Like I said, I can't speak for the future, but I don't see it changing, so yeah. Nevertheless, though, we're going to be going over every single step of getting Fabric set up, from like downloading Fabric to even downloading what's called the Fabric API, which is required for a lot of Fabric mods. And then I'm even going to show you how to install a Fabric mod called Here's What You're Looking At. The process for installation of mods in Fabric is the same for every single mod, but I am going to cover it in this video with the Here's What You're Looking At mod, but just kind of pretend that's whatever mod you want to install, because it's all going to work exactly the same. All the links in this video are in the description down below. So you've got Fabric here, the actual Fabric mod loader. You've got the Fabric API. API, which again is required for most fabric mods and then you've got the here's what you're looking at mod down below but again any fabric mod that you want to install will work with this tutorial i've also got some other helpful links down below like how to install java the jar fix we're going to talk about those a little later but everything that i use in this video is linked in the description down below first and foremost though we do have this from our sponsor which is apex minecraft hosting go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex you get an incredible 24-hour dnos protected minecraft server for you and your friends we actually love apex so much that we host our own server play.breakdowncraft.com on them so if you want to start your very own minecraft server apex minecraft hosting is the way to do it you can even start fabric servers over there with just one click super simple super easy and absolutely incredible so go to take apex the first link down below the breakdown xyz slash apex to get everything up and running but nevertheless let's go ahead and get fabric up and running on your computer now, the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here where we can download the Fabric installer. To do that, just click on the download installer universal slash dot jar. It's very important you download the universal slash dot jar here. So, yeah, click on that one and click on the universal slash dot jar. As soon as you click on it, the bottom left of Google Chrome, it's going to go ahead and start a download. You will need to keep this download in the bottom left. It should say Fabric at the beginning. Go ahead and click Keep. Now, Mozilla Firefox, it'll pop in the center of your screen. Again, should say Fabric in the beginning. And there you can go ahead and just click Save on your browser. Now, we want to go ahead and download the Fabric API. To do that, you want to go to the third link down below. Now, again, this is required for most Fabric mods, but not all of them. So, make sure you come here and get this downloaded if you do need it for your particular mod. To do that, you want to come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down, and find 1.16.3 Fabric API. As you can see, it says 1.16.3 at the beginning there. Go ahead and click on the purple download link to the right of that, and the download will begin after a few seconds. Wait for it, two, one, there we go. The download will begin in the bottom left. Now, as you can see, keep Fabric API, so you want to go ahead and keep the Fabric API by clicking the keep button there. You need to save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox, as we did with the Fabric Mod Loader as well. Now, one last time, we're going to download the Here's What You're Looking At mod. This is the mod we're going to be installing. To do that, you want to come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down to find Minecraft 1.16, and then under that, you'll see Here's What You're Looking At dash Fabric. Now, it does say 1.16.2, but I have tested this. It does work in 1.16.3, so go ahead and click on the purple download button to the right of that. And after a few seconds, the download will begin. You've done this already. You're going to need to keep the file or save the file on Mozilla Firefox. So keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome. Save in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. Here on our desktop, we do have Fabric, the Fabric API, and here's what you're looking at, right? So we have all of these right here on our desktop. Now to be starting off, we're going to be installing the Fabric installer or using the Fabric installer to install Fabric. But what if these aren't even on your desktop, right? What if these aren't even on your desktop like this? If that's the case, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. So click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. And then go ahead and type downloads. And then have the downloads file folder in Windows. And in here, I'll find Fabric, the Fabric API. And here's what I'm looking at or whatever mod you want to install. Drag those to your desktop just for ease of use. Now we want to go ahead and right click on Fabric. Click on open with. You should have Java here. If you do, click on it and click OK. But what if you don't have Java there? Or what if these like files don't look like these files that I have? If that's the case, you want to go to the description down below and download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Fabric mods are Minecraft mods, so we need to install the correct version of Java for those mods. And it can be done with this easy three-step tutorial. Feel free to go to video tutorial up here at the top. Now, for most people, that'll allow you to open up Fabric, but your files still may look weird. And if you do want to fix those, you're going to want to go here and run the jar fix. That's going to fix those jar files on your computer and make them look correct. But it's a little three-step process and usually not needed to open fabric but it is worth doing if you want the files to look like mine so we can go ahead and minimize our browser here and then we want to go ahead and click on the uh, fabric installer right click on it click on open with and then click on java and click ok it's then going to open up the fabric installer right like so where you want to select the version of minecraft you want in our case 1.16.3 and then click on install in the bottom that's it 
just make sure it's 1.16.3 and click on install and then come up and say successfully installed and then tell you a bunch of other stuff mini mods require the fabric api so we're going to do that as well and then click ok now it's done as long as it says done here you can go ahead and close out of the fabric installer you can now delete the fabric installer from your desktop if you can't delete it no worries open up minecraft close it and then you'll be able to delete it but you don't have to delete it right away now let's go ahead and get our mods installed. That's going to be actually the Fabric API and the here's what you're looking at mod. Yes, the Fabric API is technically a mod that you install with Fabric. Now, and you cannot install Fabric mods from in-game. You have to do it the old-fashioned way is what I call it. And that's by clicking the little Windows icon in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. And then go ahead and type in Run. You'll have this Run app here. So click on that. And then in this Run app, you want to type percent sign, APP, DATA, percent sign. Percent, app data percent, exactly like that, and hit enter. That's then going to open up your roaming folder here. In here, you'll have a dot mon .minecraft folder. Click on that dot .minecraft folder, and then you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Guess what? I don't have one either. That's okay. Just right-click, create a new folder, and then title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Mods, all lowercase. Then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder. Take the Fabric API. And the here's what you're looking at mod or whatever mod you want to install, whatever fabric mod you want to install, take and drag and drop that into the mods folder here. And boom, it's now installed. It's that simple. And we aren't done yet. We still need to open up the Minecraft launcher and make sure we're collect clicking the correct profile. To do that, you want to go ahead and click on this little drop down arrow, this little arrow right here next to the play button, and then select the fabric loader. It should say Fabric 1.16.3. At the very bottom of it, it should say Fabric Loader. And then at the very end of that, it should say 1.16.3. If it does, go ahead and click Play. But if you don't have this profile or it's not here for whatever reason, no worries. Here's what you do. Click on Installations at the top of Minecraft and then click on Plus New. Now, you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Play.BreakdownCraft.com. The reason for that is because that's our own incredible Greed Protected Minecraft server. We have amazing custom 1.16.3 medieval survival with 30 custom quests. We have amazing aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy and amazing community over there. And we've also got custom 1.8 small player team based factions. You will love it. It truly is amazing. And then you have incredible skyblock as well with OP enchantments, 1.8 PvP over there, custom islands, fence generators. You will love it. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now, for the version drop down here, this is where we want to focus. We're going to click on this version drop down, and then right up here at the top, we have release fabric loader, and then at the end, it says 1.16.3. You may have to scroll down a little bit to find yours, but mine's right up here at the top. So let's go ahead and click on the fabric loader there, and then I'm going to change our resolution. That's just so we can see better once we get in game, and then we can click the green create button in the bottom right. Now, this new profile we've created has 1.16.3 at the end and Fabric at the beginning. That means we can hover over it and click play. And guess what? Now, Minecraft is going to open up. It's going to be delayed here. It's going to act like nothing's happening. It's going to take a second. That's part of Fabric. Fabric is going to take a long time to load up. But then once it loads up, it's going to open up Minecraft pretty fast, right? So right now, it might not look like anything's happening, but something's happening. Minecraft is opening. And then there you go. Minecraft will open up right like so. And we'll be good to go. So as you can see, it's opening up. Might look like it's going to crash. Might look like all this different stuff. That's okay. That's part of it. And then it will go ahead and open up right like so. Now, unfortunately, once we're on the main menu here, there's no indication that we are in Fabric, right? There's almost no, no way of knowing that we are have our mods installed. That's why I don't like Fabric over Forge. That's why you see me do more Forge tutorials than Fabric tutorials. Because the only way it says Fabric modded, but there's no mods button. There's no way to see these mods that we got installed. So all we want to do... Let's go ahead and click on multiplayer here. I'm going to jump into play.breakdowncraft.com. You don't have to test on multiplayer, but I know it's going to work on multiplayer, so I'm going to give it a shot here. But nonetheless, as you can see, if we hover over this, one quick second, let me remove this thing from the top here. That way we can uh, see it real quick. So you bar off, or sorry, toggle, and then we should be good to go. Here we go. Our bar at the top has now disappeared. And if we go ahead and hover over anything, right up here at the top, we can see Grass Path, Minecraft. That is, that is here's what you're looking at. It shows you at the top of your screen what you're looking at. Not the most fancy mod, but it does the job and it works really well with the other mods are installed and things like that. That's the real reason for it, but it is still cool in vanilla that it does work and we can kind of test it here and show you that everything is in fact working and up and running and all that stuff. So awesome stuff there. If you do have any questions and as you can see, you can see like uh, health on something. For example, that chief's health went down there when we hit it. All that stuff. That is all done with here's what you're looking at. So 
There you have it. If you have, ooh, you can even see invisible barrier blocks that we put up. Mmm, sneaky, sneaky. But nevertheless, there you have that. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. Also, come play this here on play.breakdowncraft.com. Truly the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Amazing custom 1.16.3 survival. We're on medieval survival right now. So much awesome stuff. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. But my name is Nick. This has been the breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.